Romantic can't believe it. This happened. It's wrapped on the wrong side. Over here. I recognize you. I rank a bower. Thought we activated your permit. You did. Whatever you did, it was enough to fool them. You kept us out of Golem. We will never forget that. But now you're hiding again. Martial law has changed everything. They say it is to keep us off the streets, but it is worse than that. They go into our homes, accuse us of being people we are not. Permits do not matter anymore. How did you know to come here? Helena heard a message on the radio. It was warning people saying the city is not safe anymore. She saw the police going to someone's home. The man. He was showing them his permit, but the officer, he did not even look at it. He just... Helena could see that the warnings were true. That people like Irenka must have run away. So we start to go underground. We start to find others. When society wants to make things hard for someone, it eventually finds a way. I'm sorry it came to this, Irenka. Don't be. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have made it this far. We wouldn't have met all these people. Everyone is working together. Together we will find a way out of here. I hope so. Milena, you didn't take my advice about giving up on forgery. I know, I know. But trouble is, I've got a talent for it. And it's a real growth market. As soon as you got me out of that thing with Dragomir, I had like 20 emails from Samizdat. Do you have any idea how difficult it is for art school graduates to find a specialist subject these days? The permits aren't enough for police anymore. Forged or real. In Prague, maybe. But it turns out I'm multilingual when it comes to falsifying border passes. Lucky, right? Never works, I'd say lucky. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Super Commando Man. Oh, don't mention it, Milena. If there was an easier option, you think we wouldn't take it? I was less stressed out when I was working at gunpoint. We may not agree on your methods, but I'll let you get back to your work. Coming from you, that is like the gold star seal of approval. I appreciate what you've done. No more pretending. I have to face things now. Augmented or non-augmented? Non-augmented. Estonia. Tallinn's nice this time of year. I recognize you. Welcome to the underground. I owe you an apology for hacking your info link. Don't sweat it. I'm assuming you had a good reason. Samizdat's usual channels are all bugged. 
I couldn't risk an audio communication being traced back here. You're a little K, right? You don't sound local. I wrote some things that made me have to delocalize a long time ago. Been living story to story on a Schengen visa and a language implant ever since. Never expect a short story from a long-form journalist. You want to know why I brought you here? The police raided Samisat last night. Cleared us out. We were broadcasting until they pulled the plug. Radios, flyers, mail bursts, the, the makeshift media van. Getting the message out to our subscribers if they needed a refuge. As you can see, you went a little wider than we anticipated. This isn't what I call laying low. Aren't you afraid the police will find you again, finish what they started? They already got the key. Bones, the backup servers, even the shitty coffee machine. Enough for them to call it a win and get back to indiscriminate brutality on the streets. Where were you when this happened? Right here. Running our little home away from home. Our sources tipped us off about the martial law. Either V could write about it and throw our hands up. Boy, I sure hope this massive rights violation doesn't end up being too awful this time. Or we could enact a readiness plan and really do something. Yeah, when we first met, I called you pamphleteers. I guess I should apologize. Oh no, we were pamphleteers. Now we're pamphleteers, jury rigging an underground railroad. So are you running a resistance cell here, or a campaign room? Why not both? Now Sammy's dad has a captive voter base we could run for the Senate. It's organized resistance, then. Peaceful resistance. We're working together to get people under the cordon and out of Prague. It's a happy accident of a police state. Well, I say happy when everyone's repressed, they can see past their prejudices. Or they shift the blame. It's gonna take a long time for those prejudices to heal. As long as certain people can profit from keeping the wounds fresh? But you knew that already. What happened to Kay? Kay is me now, according to the Samizdat Manifesto. It's all very third-wave socialist with a dash of martyr complex. Good to know. But I mean, what physically happened to him? Right. His name is Yarek. Yarek Drobny. He's being held by the police along with Bones. No contact, no bail, no rights. Plausible deniability. He must have known the risks. Well, he was open to the existence of risks. When you showed up, it should have been a wake-up call, but you were reasonable. The state isn't reasonable. I'm pretty sure you didn't call me to put up posters. What's the deal? We've made a plan. We're getting people out of the city, starting first thing tomorrow. I want Yarek and Bones to go with them, but first we need to... Bust them out of jail. Tonight. And you think I'm the kind of guy who breaks into police stations? Are you telling me you're not? Fine, I'll get them out. They're being held in the temporary police station downtown? Yes. By the Monument Metro. Once you're clear, take them across the plaza to the Ineta Cleaners. We've cached everything they need for a long road trip along the old NATO decommissioning zone. That's your escape route? Puts getting them past the state police into perspective. It works on paper. Ah, uh, and uh, gives them these new identity documents, a lot of new identities. We found a very good forger. We're keeping her from a bright future in a Pika's newsroom. Too many people. We'll have to borrow more trash. I recognize Can you. we get back into the city trash people tonight? You don't know if there's a train something. I don't. I don't like to
Military industrial days? friend. Like those old documentaries? You the journalists aren't the revolution. We have to free us or interrogate us. I think I'm getting used to this now, man, but on principle, it's put your it away. fault I'm here. The journalists are aren't the revolution, man. We're just augmenting the message. And the message is still out there. It's on the streets. It's over the airwaves. It's spreading online. Maybe it's even gotten through those faceless skull buckets at once, huh? Maybe you're thinking you're fighting for the wrong team. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. them all along do I look like I'm one of them I can feel my hands right now but if I could run a search for shadowy extra government agent on the net pretty sure it's all you fair point what happened you pulled the freedom of information speech on the state police ha fucking ha they didn't wait for a speech man lesson learned smash the state before the state smashes your nose Little Kay asked me to get you out. She's the Kay now, man. I'm a liability to Sam's dad. She cares about you, Yarrick. She didn't want to leave you or Bones behind. Always was a cool cat, man. One of the good ones. She wrote the wheels come off 16 years ago and the conspiracies just keep checking out. Everything except the gray aliens, but who's to say that's not a metaphor? If she wrote the book... Ah, uh, 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 I don't believe in authorial intent. You told me you were a liability to Sam's dad. How do you figure that? Because the cops burn me, man. Exposure is death. They didn't have to ask a single question. Just took my DNA off their knuckles. My high school dropout date, my sister's parking tickets, my dark neck proxies. Oral cemetery. Oral cemetery? They didn't get a lot of mainstream airplay. Anyway, a little case shouldn't have sent you. Sam's dad has to be bigger than any man. Or woman. Samizdat is bigger than you now, Yarrick. The resistance reached further than you planned for. You want to fall on your sword? There's a better place to do it than in a holding cell. Whoa, whoa! You know I use the term liability real broadly. I might have known you wouldn't keep your heads down during the riots. This is what a radical news source lives for, man. Lives and dies for. But the helmets on the streets, the extreme peacekeeping, that's not about the Gollum riots. How are the Ogs gonna get over here? Carpool? No. Someone, somewhere, wanted the cops to clean house in Pride. And this is just the beginning. What if they could call martial law anywhere, anytime? Cops without borders. That's your prediction, huh? 
You can take it to the bank, man. The Palisade Property Bank. I warned you about picking a fight with Pikus. They've got a lot invested in protecting the message. Would I be talking to you now if Pikus had got to us? I mean, does Eliza Kassan have a sense of humor? All those bombs going off lately. What's one more in the sewers? A BTW? Those are all rhetorical questions. You don't say. But they're trying, man. Bones heard the cops talking about extraordinary rendition. What a wonderful connected world we live in. When they can pin an acronym on you, ARC, NSF, who gives a right sass, and ship you off to a black site on the UN's credits. Just how many states are you an enemy of? All the corporate ones. There's a way out of Prague for you both. The Samizdat resistance has organized everything. We just need to keep our heads down and get to the cleaners nearby. The cleaners? <laughs> Irony. Wait, you mean going through the cops? There's a police locker in the corner that should be stocked with uniforms. Find something that fits and try to look convincing. We need the cops to think you're one of them. Good. It's time to go. Low profile! Low profile! It's sad to see the place like this! I'm very good at taking cover. We should get the hell out of here. I'd be right behind you. Cut that last part of should face. never have come to Prague. Need more. Do you think it is safe here? I don't think it's safe anywhere. But I think you can breathe here at least. There's a group organizing underground. They're doing everything they can to create a refuge, to get people out. I thought you were against groups like this. The way you treated Vlasta before... Vlasta was different. I trust these people. They actually care what happens to others. These men, they are part of this group? That's right. You were right before to do whatever it takes to try to get out of this city. This is your chance now. If you wait here, case people will come for you. They'll do everything they can to help. I believe you. Thank you. I appreciate what you've done. Good luck, Olivier. I will be careful, I promise. It is a good thing you came when you did. Time for Sam is that to go international. I must practice my French. Yes! Exit plans, man! Exit plans! Always be making them! We worked this contingency plan out when we started Sammy's death. Didn't think it would actually come to this, though. No one thought it would be like this. You're gonna need these documents where you're going, wherever that is. I hear Paris is the best place to have a revolutionary agenda these days. If you want to come along, you can be the muscle. Well... Whatever your arms are made of, the stuff they use on space shuttles. No can do. I've got a previous engagement. I really can't mess. Right. With the cardboard box company. Watch yourself out there, Kay. Kay? Kay is Kazdi, man. Kay is everyone. You're part of it now. 